Now in this video I'm going to show you the level from PSD2. So by default you probably won't see anything here, here because we have to fill in here our PSD file. Down here I filled in my PSD file. Then here we can go here to our layer tab. It might happen that there already are layers in here. So I'm just going to delete all of the layers and I'm going to create a new one. And this is then based on the layer. So let me just quickly jump to my PSD file. So here is my PSD file. You can see it's a very quick sketch of a layout that I want for a level. So each layer has something unique. So this is my layer called layout. The naming is very important here because I will use that in the plugin. Then also have a layer for props. I have a layer for using different items and also have a layer here, let's say the spawn placement of enemies or the spawn places of, of your character. So in here, I'm just going to type in the name of the layer, so layout. And now we will just scatter a bunch of points. So basically on all the surface that has been drawn in the layout layer will be a scatter of points. We can also change this method to actually adding the houses. So I have an option here that will add house gym geometry for that layer. We also here have an option in the advanced and I have a small toggle here that will generate the final building. So let's click that. And now we actually spawn some templates of buildings. So you can actually have a small city here. Further, we can play around here with the seat and the height of the building. So let's say I want the buildings to be higher, so let's say three. So we now have way higher buildings. So we can just play around with these values and get all different results. Further here, I want to also have information from other layers. So I'm going to click the plus icon. Then I had the layer, for example, that was called props. So I'm going to type in props. And now what you can see is that we have these props scattered here. And I can later then replace these with custom models. Then also, since we are working from a PSD file, I can actually go back to my PSD. And in here, let's say I want to change actually the layout. I'm not happy with the layout. So let's say I'm not happy with my layout. I can simply take a brush and start removing parts. Let's say I would like to have this open here, or maybe this should be way smaller. Now let's just save this. Turn back to Unreal. In Unreal, I'm just going to click Reload the PSD file. And now everything has changed. So I can see here my changes. So before this was actually connected, and now things are changed there. So it's a really quick way to draw your level and get the result immediately. Now further down here, we have also the building instances. So here I have an option to amount of different buildings. So right now, basically every building is the same, but if I click the plus icon here, we can add different buildings. So as you can see, now I have two different buildings. So I colored them, so it's very visual. So I have the gray one and the purple one. So I can keep clicking this plus icon based on actually also how many uh, modular walls you have. So you can actually fill these in with your custom walls. So to use actually your custom walls, we're going to go here to engine and I want to set this to Unreal Engine. Now all of things will now disappear because we're going to have to fill in our walls. So in here we're going to have to set the asset path for our walls. So in this case I have two different walls, so I'm going to have to fill in two different asset paths. So what we can do here is I actually have some blueprints which I use as prefabs. So I have a blue and a red wall. So I'm going to copy the reference and paste it here to the asset pad. And as you can see now, my blue walls are being placed in the city. So now I'm going to do the same for the red, copy reference and paste it here. And now I have these red walls scattered here as well. So just pressing this plus icon, we can add as much walls as you want, which is very interesting. 
You can also get more variation in here if you want it. We actually have here an option under parameters. We see our blue wall and we can actually add this plus icon. And this plus icon will now create a actually a second instance of that. And now we can get notable variation on the same level. So let's take my red wall here and the blue one. And as you can see, we have now a variation there. So let's say I would have a, a wall without a window, we would have no window here. I also see that my the scaling of my model might not be nicely aligned here with these ones. So then here, one thing that we're missing is when I go back to my layer, I have props scattered here, but we also have to assign now a instance. So in here, I have the classic test geometry from Houdini, which is called the big head. And let's plug that in over here. And now here, the big head is here placed. And you can also see that the pivot point of my big head was in the middle, so it will also be placed in the middle. So we further have also here some random rotation scales and so on if you want to have variation in there. And that was it for the level generator from a PSD file.